video but hello hey guys this is faith and i'm here with natani means An interview this question can you give me a brief history of who you are yeah uh well first my name is natani i was born uh, on the navajo indian reservation in uh, a town called gallup new mexico i was born in or i was raised in chinle arizona which is um in the heart of the navajo reservation but I'm also Navajo, I'm also Lakota. My dad is from Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in South Dakota, and that's where I'm from. And I'm also Umaha from Macy, Nebraska. So, you know, I like to represent all my tribes and mention them wherever I go. And, you know, just give, give them that respect that they deserve, you know. And, um, yeah, I'm a hip-hop artist, and I'm here. <laughs> awesome, awesome. What's the first app you open in your phone in the morning? The first app I open? <laughs> Dang. Um... Honestly, whatever notification is first, I open it, like a text or Instagram, whatever. Yeah. All right. What are some words of encouragement that you could leave for the youth or the future generations? Yeah, some words of encouragement for the youth, you know. Um, we've done a lot of youth work around the country on different reservations. Uh, some words of encouragement that, uh, that I can leave right now would be, you know, as, as hard as times can, can seem like they are right now, they don't last forever. And to make it through it makes you a stronger person and a better person. It's just hard for right now. And um, I encourage you to continue to smile, continue to laugh, and continue to live. Living is the most important thing we can do as indigenous people, not just in the metaphorical sense of, of living a full life, but also in like living your daily life, living to be a better person, living to uh, be better for your family as well and for your people. Yeah. All right. Tell me about the three most influential people in your life and how they impacted you. My father, Russell Means, who's no longer with us anymore, um, he, he, he was very impactful in my life. He, uh, he taught me what it is to be a strong Indian man and um, stand up for who I am, stand up for my people, stand up for our rights, not to just be complacent with everything like it's okay. You have to fight for who you are in this country as an indigenous person. And um, second person, uh, my mother. She's very influential. She's my biggest supporter. She's my number one fan. And without her, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be here, man. Literally. So I give thanks to her, my father, my mother. And then third would be my brother Tatanka. Tatanka means here with Faith. He's um uh, a big he's a big inspiration to me. He's a family man. He's you know, I grew up with him. I've seen him go through all the stages in his life. And he's helped me through stages of my life as well. So that's my dude right there. I love, I love, I love that guy. So those are the three inspirational people. Cool, cool. If I pray for you, what should I pray for? Um, I, I would just ask for prayers for a good, for a good journey. You know, to travel safely. You know, and wherever I go. Yeah, that's what I would ask for. All right. Know. Thank you. I appreciate this a lot. <laughs> Generational. Oh my. This is a nice hat. What? I'm about to wear this tonight. Oh my goodness. These are felt hats. These are nice hats. Yeah. Dang, you guys <laughs> really went all out. And uh, let's look at this t shirt right here. Okay. Right, we got some more from Generational Trauma. Boom. Really nice shirt right there. I like that. 
Who does Richie? Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Richie. I just did a show with him over in Albuquerque doing Gathering of Nations, so shout out to Richie. Hey, nice. Faith, that's awesome, man. I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you guys for having me on, for real. It means a lot to me. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> this is dope. Hey, this is Natani Means, and you're hanging out with me and Faith. Thank you. All right, thank you guys. Okay, guys, we're out of meet and greet. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up. <laughs> My dad was like, just film and say you're at a meet and greet, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, we're at a meet and greet. My outfit is pretty basic today. It's just um, a black long sleeve with some jeans and some Jordan 11s. And my uh, generational trauma red velvet hat. Here's my mom. This is Faith. Hey, Big Willie. Yay! This is tripping. Tripping, dog. Okay. The, um, the green room. That's where we're gonna go. And the Coraline. There was a Coraline door. Here's my mom. I don't know why she's standing by herself. Like, are you emo? Why does she keep walking back and forth? She forgot her Red Bull. Are you kidding me? My mom is just. I saw the pink or white. Right here. <laughs> Mom just flipped me off. Where's she at? Uh -oh. She's coming back inside. She flipped me off. Hey, this is Anton. I want to shout out NSO and Tacoma and all of Washington. We're excited to perform tonight. Yes, sir. Yo, 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 what's up? Stinjati, man, Punk and Lusty, a.k.a. Greasy Fry Bread. Shout out to NSO Entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Daybreak Star Radio. Yeah, yeah. What's up, everyone? It's Natani Means. We're live at Tacoma tonight. Say what's up. Big shout out to, uh, uh, to NSO Entertainment. We're here. And shout out to Faith, too. Let's go. Shout out Faith, man. It's Savvy, baby. We tapping in, man. Shout out NSO Entertainment. Cannot wait for tonight, man. Thank you, Mike. But I gave her the words because I didn't have the courage. Now I'm going to walk to the green room. It stinks. Hi. Good. How are you? It smells, guys. Oh, I need that shit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Big Rez, you're always swearing when I'm filming. So. <gasps> That's my auntie, my uncle. Oh. Sonia and um, Gio. Hi. <laughs> I slammed a Red Bull today. I feel great. For no reason. <laughs> Hello, Faith. Hi. Pleasure to finally meet you. This yeah. is my daughter, Aaliyah. Aaliyah's Hi. Faith. So I was telling you about. So what did I hear? I want to challenge you. Yeah. You what? I want to challenge you. To what? Makeup. Not eye makeup, though. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Challenge. Oh, challenge. Move it. <gasps> Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Hey guys, this is Faith, and today I'm here with... Savel the Native. All right. First question. Can you give me a brief history of who you are? Um, I am a Pacific Northwest um, original, I like to say. Uh, my people have always been from over there. I'm a native from Eugene, Oregon, what they call today. Um, I was born and raised out there. Um, I am... 33, a father, and a musician. All right. What is the first app you open on your phone in the morning? First app I open in the f morning it's between Credit Karma and Facebook. Okay. What are some that score went up. What are some words of encouragement that you could leave for the youth or the future generations? You are not alone. Mm. You are able to do it. You are not alone. You are not responsible for your hurt. 
Um, and life does get better. Awesome, awesome. <coughs> what advice would you have for your 13-year-old self? Stay strong. I know it's confusing, but it all makes sense one day. All this is for a reason. Great, great. Tell me about the three most influential people in your life and how they impacted you. Um, my first most influential people in my life is my children. Um, and they just bring the best out of me, and that's given. Um, my second um, would probably be my fiance. Um, she's very strong. She shows me what empathy is, um, and she shows me she shows me what understanding is, um, and that's something big for me. And my third, I'd have to say, is my dad. He's never left my side for anything, for any reason, no matter what, right, wrong, up, down, left, right. My father has never left. Awesome, awesome. Um, last question, or, yeah. If I pray for you, what should I pray for? Strength. Okay. Here is your gift bag. Holla. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Yo, we gonna be matching? Yeah. You wanna be my lanyard? Generational trauma. That's what's up. Is that the brand? Mm hmm This is my daughter's. Look at it, you look good. Wow. And she loves stickers. Oh, is that you taught the buggy? Oh, wow. What'd you get, sissy? Yo. Yo. You got a chain, Lee. Baby, you got your chain. What do you say? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Who beated that? Um, uh, my her mom did. My mother. Really? <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, this generation of trauma is hitting. It's really nice stuff. Bro. Look at that. That's dope. Amazing. Don't shoot, that's what's up. You got gifts, baby. Thank you. Thank you so much, Faith. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank We're you. We're very happy. Hey, guys, this is Savel the Native, and you are hanging out with me and Faith Ayuks. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Little Mike, funny bone, brother woke. Scoating, students, I don't even need no excuses. Hey guys, this is Faith, and I'm here with Stinchadi, and we're gonna interview him. Okay, first question: Can you give me a brief history of who you are? Um, I am Stinjadi. I um, am a tattoo artist, um, a hip hop artist, uh, and yeah, I'm on reservation dogs. Um, father, husband, friend, uh, entrepreneur. Yeah. Awesome. What's the first app you open on your phone in the morning? Um, Facebook. Facebook is the first one, probably, yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, tell me about the three most influential people in your life and how they impacted you. Um, first, uh, my mom. My mom is probably the most impactful person in my life. She never, um, you know, she never stopped believing in me. She never um, told me I couldn't do something. Um, yeah, so it was like, um, she pretty much had my back a lot. Um, plus, of course, you know, coming up as an indigenous kid with not much indigenous representation out there, Tupac was a big thing. Um, you know, he talked about things that I could relate to, things that I felt, um, were personal to me when he was he was rapping and he was speaking on some some stuff that you know I could relate to. So that was definitely a person I 
I was influenced and, and uh, looked up to when I was a kid. Um, and, um, you know, probably Lightfoot, you know, shout out Lightfoot, man. Uh, you know, he definitely was a native artist out there that gave us uh, gave us a certain person to look up to at the time um, but he was only one and he was he's you know he was a, a, one of the originals out there that was doing it so I definitely look up to him as far as like just being an indigenous businessman indigenous uh, person that goes out there and um, creates hope and creates good vibes with people so you know definitely was influential on, on myself for that you know okay awesome <laughs> If I pray for you, what should I pray for? Oh, for my anxiety. Oh, right. <laughs> um, my nerves. Uh, it doesn't matter how many times I do this stuff or how many different people I meet or how many interviews I've done or, or whatever. I get butterflies in my stomach every single time before I go on stage, before I speak in front of anybody or any kids. Um, I get nervous and I want, I, I want people to know that too because it's okay to get nervous, right? Like it's okay to have that anxiety of not knowing how it's gonna go um, or how you're going to you know, do. Um, that's the part of living. That's the part of, uh, you know, experience in slipping and falling and bouncing back or, or who knows, you might do 100% great. You might, uh, you know, surprise yourself with how well you can do. Okay, awesome. Ooh, look at this. Holy cow. That's dope. Pin, pin. Oh, man. You're killing it with the hat game. <laughs> Oh snap! Taking the homie with the packages, bro. Well, this is awesome. T-shirt too. What? Oh wow! Hell yeah, that's dope. I like that. Man, you got business cards in here and everything. All professional. Hey. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you. That is that is amazing. I'm honored to have this. Thank you guys, man. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, thank you. Yo, what's up? This is Stin Jotty and you're hanging out with Faith. Thank you. And today I'm here with Anton X Music. All right. First question: Can you give me a brief history of who you are? Um, I am from Omaha, Nebraska. I'm a hip hop R&B artist. Uh, originally, I found my fan base through singing traditional music. I come from the Omaha and Lakota people, and uh, yeah, I'm for the people. Awesome. Awesome. What's the first app you open on your phone in the morning? Ooh, Instagram. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what are some words of encouragement that you could leave for the future generations or the youth? Um, always do what you love, always stand strong and remember how strong you are. Um, we hold a lot of power as native people and sometimes we just have to find it. And once you find it, you know, uh, you get the confidence to step into places that people sometimes make you feel like you don't belong, you know. Uh, but I'll just always say remember who you are, remember your people. You have a lot of people standing behind you as Native people. And, yeah, don't take, I can't cuss, huh? Don't take stuff from anybody, you know. Stand strong in your words and be confident and do what you love. Always do what you love. Okay, awesome. What advice would you have for your 13-year-old self? My 13-year-old self, I would say, save your money. Don't go blowing it. Uh, 
focus on yourself, on your music, on your what you love to do, and just do it. Don't be scared. Quit being scared. Leap. If you're thinking about doing something, do it and do it 100%. Young Anton, do that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd say. <laughs> okay. Tell me about the three most influential people in your life and how they impacted <clears throat> you. The three most influential people in my life right now in this moment and forever will be my parents, my mom and my dad for the first two. They helped mold me uh, into the person that I am today, the person who you know, stands in both worlds confidently walking as a native person traditionally and a native person within the city and mainstream society. Also within my business uh, path and journey, I, I look a lot up to uh, Nipsey Hussle. I, I'll say Nipsey Hussle is a big influence on how I operate within the music and just the industry in general, just business in general, um, ownership. You know, owning everything and always being the boss and calling your own shots and, you know, learning how to be that type of person that can call the shots. So right now in my life, that's that's the three. And the third one can always change. Okay, awesome. If I pray for you, what should I pray for? If you pray for me, pray for my family and pray for my people. I believe that, you know, if my people are good and my family is good, then I'm good. Okay, awesome. Is your gift bag? Oh my goodness, I get a gift. This is Anton Egg's music. Thank you for this gift. All right. <laughs> now, thank you. And if my name is Anton, aka Anton X, aka Anton Edwards, for the original fans that I'm here hanging out with, Faith. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Faith, and today I'm here with Gunner Jewel. Yeah. All right. Can you give me a brief history of who you are? Oh, sure, yeah. <clears throat> like I said, my name is Gunnar Jewel. Um, I'm Sichang Lakota from the Rosebud Sioux Tribe, born and raised. Um, I live in St. Francis community there. Um, I grew up, you know, going to school, playing basketball, kind of moving around a lot with my mom. Um, you know, I was really into sports, kind of kept me out of trouble, then uh, had music along the way. Graduated from there and I lived in the Black Hills and Rap City for, for a long time. Now I'm living back home on the res, but I'm able to travel and do music and um, uh, kind of build from there. Um, kind of get into some things that I didn't even think was possible growing up on the res, but um, we're out here and it's, it's pretty amazing. Awesome, awesome. What's the first app you open on your phone in the morning? The first app? Uh, probably Instagram, usually. Yeah, that's, that, I'm most active on Instagram. Cool, cool. What are some words of encouragement that you could leave for the youth or the future generations? Some words of encouragement? Um, I would say find your passion. Find what you're passionate about and, um, you know, regardless of what it is and if it's available in your community or around you, you know, there's a lot of resources out there to, to build on, on that and um, find a job within that and um, give back as much as you can to, to your community, to your elders, uh, and your family. Yeah. Awesome. What advice would you have for your 13-year-old self? Man, I have a 13-year-old son, so it's dope because I'm able to be like, what would I tell myself whenever I was that age? And so I get that opportunity to tell him. And um, I would say, uh, you know, love yourself. Um, get comfortable with uh, the person you are in the mirror. Grow older with yourself. Um, um, and just express, express your feelings. And um, don't be scared just to love and be yourself unapologetically. All right. Tell me about the three most influential people in your life and how they impacted you. Uh, most of influence always starts with my mom. Um, you know, she's a very strong woman. Uh, raised, raised us kids herself. Uh, let's see. Secondly, um, at a time whenever I wanted to really break into doing music and you know, there's some people that had more belief in me than I even had in myself. Um, so 
was people like DJ Two Bears um, from Standing Rock, uh, my older brother. Thirdly, uh, he he was really making music, and my sister. Yeah, so my older siblings, uh, my sister sings, and my brother raps, and I kind of do a little bit of both. So it's pretty awesome that uh, I never even thought I wanted to do music, and uh, eventually did, and I, I give them a lot of the credit for that. Awesome, awesome. If I pray for you, what should I pray for? Um. Uh. I'll maybe pray that I, you know, remember who I am, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, remember to stay connected uh, spiritually, and um, you know, remember my prayer, and to be hopeful for for the future and the future of our people. Awesome, awesome. Cool. So here is your gift bag. Oh wow! Uh, okay. Uh, my name is Gunnar Jewel, and I'm hanging out with the one and only. Thank you. Thank you. This is Faith Ayuk's Catch My New Show every Friday at 3 p.m. on Dave Rick's Star Radio. Yo, yo, what's up? This is Stan Jotty, and you're listening and hanging out with Faith on Daybreak Star Radio. This is Lil Mike and Funny Bone with the homegirl Faith on Daybreak Star Radio. Yeah! Yo, so what up? This is DJ Element representing the Salt River Indian Reservation here in Arizona on Oxford Autumn. And right about now, you are in the mix with my good friend Faith right here on Daybreak Star Radio. Check it out. This is Salila Miles, and you are listening and hanging out on Daybreak Star Radio Network. What's up, guys? This is Faith, and you are listening to Chasing Stars on Daybreak Star Radio Network. 